everybody! Welcome back to the Minimalist Bujo Challenge. I'm Rebecca and this is my sewing machine. I don't have a lot of space on my desk, uh, so we're going to be sharing the space just for the day, maybe tomorrow, um, while I try to get some projects done. So let's review Monday here. I still have a couple things left to do, but uh, just waiting for my dinner to heat up, so I thought I would film this video real quick. I just finished sewing the hem on my mother-in-law's dress. That was the project that I was, I needed to get done the most this week and I managed to get it done in just one night. So that feels really good because that means I was able to sort of free up the rest of my week a little bit. I still have one more sewing project that I wanna work on and really the only thing now forcing any sort of urgency is just the fact that the sewing machine takes up so much of my desk that I, uh, I just want to finish that project so that I can have some free space again. But other than that, things are really good. So that's this project here, which I want to get started on tonight, and then I'll work on that tomorrow. And then I still have to read the rest of my chapter, which I read part of it while I was waiting for an appointment, and then um, just this before I go to bed. So let's see. Most of that is filled out. I am posting on Instagram every day now, or at least that's my plan. So go ahead and follow me at uh, Ganchi underscore if you want to see some of the behind the scenes of this and some of my thought processes for how I use my dailies throughout the day. Uh, let's go ahead and... Sorry, things getting stuck in my uh, book darts there. Let's go ahead and set up for Tuesday the 19th. I didn't really enjoy being on two different pages today. Um, I, I guess I should have known that I wasn't going to have room for everything I wanted to get done uh, on this page and so maybe should have just turned the page already but it's fine. It's just kind of annoying to have to flip back and forth and not be able to see everything you want to do in one place. But Let's see. Events. This project is a, uh, a training I have to do online before we can do our confirmation class. And so I have to get it done like by October and it doesn't take that long, but I, instead of telling myself I need to sit down for a good chunk of, you know, two hours and do the whole thing, I'm able to stop at any point throughout the course. And so I've been doing it in like half hour and 15 minute chunks and it's it's been going really well. It's just enough time for me to kind of get my bearings and understand what's going on um, and make a little bit of progress but not feel overwhelmed by the enormity of my to-do list. Uh, this project is what I want to work on tomorrow. It's a big one. Let's see, before I go into these, I'm gonna take a look again at my master image to-do list. And I'll pull a couple of things off this list. I have been using this sort of arrow signifier. Um, it doesn't mean anything specifically and I kind of use these two interchangeably but basically I use a signifier next to things that are grouped together um, so like on Monday here I was using the signifier to uh, indicate things that needed to be done at home and so when I wasn't at home I would just ignore those things uh, for Tuesday here I'm using the signifier to group together the things that I want to do as I uh, to grab as I'm on my way out the door for work I think that's good for now. I uh, 
can always add things, but it's harder to remove things just because you feel like guilty. But if you add things, then you feel successful. So there's a tip for you. Keep your to-do list short whenever possible. Um, I'm going to see about filling out this habit tracker for today. Definitely that one. All right. Looks like a plan. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in every day. I hope that you are enjoying these. And if you are, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss tomorrow's video. And I will see you guys then. Bye. Thank you.